Okay, so uh, I'm in Tuxedo Park, and you'll see a uh, really beautiful place. Uh, lots of old homes, a lot of designers. Uh, when people build homes here, they want they want what they want. Uh, this fellow wanted a 1990s Sub-Zero 48-inch unit because uh, he liked the aesthetic of the pole handles in stainless steel, and he liked the square body of it. Uh, he didn't like the rounded-out newer units. Uh, so he went out and bought a 1995 532, and he did a really good job because it's in premium cosmetic condition. It's straight as an arrow. It's lived a good life. And I'll show it to you, and we'll follow uh, along. Um, I'm about halfway through the repair here. Uh, we are rebuilding the refrigeration section on it to make it like new, but he also had an issue where his freezer compressor just conked out after 25 years. So we're refurbishing this thing uh, because he loves the way it looks and it's in excellent condition. So I'll show you what we're doing with it. And uh, this is like kind of uh, a great job and a fun project that we can kind of perform on the spot. And uh, when we have freedom to really let this thing uh, get rebuilt the way we want, I'm pretty sure that this thing, uh, it's a 25-year-old unit. It's going to go probably another 20 years. Uh, so let me show you it and show you what we're doing. Okay, cool. As you can see, we've got a new freezer compressor in. Uh, great pressure. And we're gonna focus our energies now on getting this refrigeration motor out, as well as that fan, and rebuilding the remainder of the refrigerator. So on the interior, we'll replace your thermostat, your evaporator, your heat exchange, your fan, and while we're at it, we'll come over here and we'll be cleaning up certain things that you don't get to often clean, the insides of fan shrouds, Okay, so we've got this thing stripped down pretty much completely. And you'll see back here, there will be putty. It's gonna be brittle, it's no good. It doesn't stop the heat transfer and you'll get moisture inside your machine. So we get new putty and we wrap it around the heat exchanges. While we're doing this, we're vacuuming and we're cleaning up the entire interior of this unit and making sure that we can get to all the places that we're never gonna see again. Just part of a good rebuild, just like that. Okay, truck's a mess and uh, we're just about finished. You can kind of see how much we actually replaced on this unit. Fridge compressor, freezer compressor, condenser fan motor, heat exchanger, uh, thermostats. We've got filters, uh, freezer and fridge. Evaporator, heat exchange. Uh, we're gonna go inside and just put in the finishing touches. We completely nitrogen blew out the condenser up there and cleaned it out. Uh, we put putty on all of the heat exchanges and we are gonna go out now and we are going to grab our flashlight and go redo the drain so it doesn't leak and he's gonna be good to go. Okay, so like the last thing that we're doing here to button this machine up is we're putting brand new silicone on the drain the old silicone was sort of falling out, falling apart, and water was getting behind. So this is fresh silica, silicone, you'll see. And I'm just gonna let that dry, and that leads to the drain tube down there. And that's basically it. Beautiful. One last look at our completed product here. New fan, new refrigerator compressor, new freezer compressor, new filters, new heat exchangers. We've got a clean condenser. This thing's ready to go.